And it's not the first time that Britain's financial watchdog has come in for criticism. Indeed, concerns around out-of-date information are just one of the reasons why complaints about it to the Complaints Commissioner from consumers and businesses almost doubled in 2018. But Martin James from consumer website Resolver says it's quite a challenge for the FCA to keep such a sizable register accurate. The Financial Conduct Authority has a database with over 50,000 different firms on who can sell financial products or manage them. And that has resulted in a very big and complicated database. The FCA has acknowledged where there are sometimes errors and it's reliant on the people and firms that provide information to it to give the right information. Now, having operated for many, many decades, it's inevitable that there may be some mistakes. Martin says that when it comes to investing your money, you shouldn't just rely on the FCA's register. If you want to be sure that a company is legitimate, you need to turn detective. Things to watch out for. Firms that cold call you out of nowhere are probably dodgy. They shouldn't be doing this. Bear in mind that websites and promotional literature can also easily be copied. Double check to see where a firm is registered and also go in and see them if you can do to double check that they are who they say they are. When we spoke to the FCA about what went wrong, it told us that it recognises that there are data quality issues in the 750,000 records it holds, which is why over the next year it's investing £5 million to improve the accuracy of its register. It's told us that there seems to be a particular issue with the way some Austrian firms appear, so it's temporarily stopped people from viewing these while it checks their status with the Austrian authorities. The FCA goes on to say that it's sorry for the loss that Myra suffered, but reiterated that it disagrees with the Complaints Commissioner's recommendation to compensate her, insisting that the FCA offered her sensible guidance before she invested her money, but that was not followed by her. It pointed out that the Commissioner's own notes suggest that if it had been, then Myra wouldn't have lost out in the way that she did. As for Jack, it said that it can't comment on his particular case. But both Jack and Myra remain convinced that if the FCA register had been correct, they'd never have ended up scammed and so badly out of pocket. I don't think I will ever invest my money again because like, how do you trust? Discussed it with the FCA. They've well, left me high and dry. Um, in my opinion, haven't done their job properly. Had they done so, I would definitely not invested in this company. If you're in debt...